So very, very good morning to you. Welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles this morning. Today we're going to be out ride testing this. This is the Nano 50, 50cc scooter. And we're just going to have a quick look around at the bike on this one. There's nice white panels at the side telling you what the bike is, Nano. And the reason we've got this one running is I want to show off this H to the front, this LED H. So just at the top you have your dip beam and just below you have the main beam. But you do have this nice white daytime running LED H to the front of the bike, just making people aware of you. Full LED indicators on this one. And a very, very nice bike to ride. Absolutely love these little nanos. Obviously 30 mile an hour, 50cc scooter. We're going to take this one out and give it a road test. So currently telling me temperature at the moment outside is 11 degrees. It is a cold morning this morning. And your fuel gauge just to the right. Big, nice mileage and speed display on the bottom. And your rev counter runs along the top. Very simplistic controls on this. The start, the hazards on the left. You've got the horn to the bottom. Indicators to the middle and your main beam and dip beam just below. Mirrors on this, nice and wide. And these take up about a third of my shoulder to the road behind on this one. Just looking across the other side, there is a nice view of the road on both sides. So we're going to take this one out. Currently on the mileage on this one with 0.8 of a mile. Now with these little 50ccs, when we first get them in, they do have quite a long time to get them run up because the fuel lines are so small on these. You have to pull the fuel through to get them started. So we normally start these up using a boost box. We don't add the batteries until point of sale, but we do run them up in the workshop, get them all fully running. Once they are run up, they just go and go and go. But it does take us quite a bit of time to actually pull the fuel through the lines on these and get these engines started. But once they're started, absolutely perfect. So while we're waiting for the lights to change on this one, just talk to you about these little nanos best selling scooter along with the echoes now the echo has been the best selling scooter for the last seven years for lexmoto so we're just going to pull this one out into traffic and what we're going to do we're going to change the route up slightly we're going to do a little bit of dual carriageway and then we're going to go into town change the route up and do some urban so we're going to put about seven to ten miles on this which is going to be my first ride test and then once we get the second PDI done on this, I will take it out, give it the final ride test and get those final 10 miles or so on the clocks on these. Now if you haven't seen the post from Lexmoto, there are some new electric scooters on the market. There was a huge debate on the YouTube and the Facebook last night where we were chatting about do Lexmoto really need another three electric scooters on the market. Now the three different variants of those scooters, we have them coming in over the next couple of weeks. So I'm looking forward to getting out and road testing those little electric scooters. The second ride test of the Cypher is due to come up very, very shortly where I'm going to be doing a full ride test and actually putting around about 40 miles on it just to see what I can get out of the batteries on the Cypher. And we have had a lot of interest in those Cyphers as well. But obviously these electric scooters, same thing again, around about a 40 mile range, 30 mile an hour. And that's ideal if you're just using it backwards and forwards to college. And obviously no tax on those. Batteries on those are guaranteed for three years, which is really, really good. So you get your warranty, plus of course your three year battery cover. Now if you're looking at something like the uh, Super Soco, the 50cc version of the Super Soco, you're going to be looking around about just over £2,000, about £2,200 for a Super Soco, which is going to have a 45 kilometre range and that's going to be a 30 mile an hour bike. Obviously Lexmoto, the scooters, are a hell of a lot cheaper. So it might be something worth sort of getting into and having a look. Now obviously I did say to one of the, uh, the guys on the YouTube last night, electric is going to be the way forward. Five, ten years time, it's going to be a lot of electric bikes out there and there is going to be obviously the old people that prefer their petrols nothing better than a nice big 750 or 1000 cc engine strapped underneath you and uh, seeing what you can do but a friend of mine has an Energica Evo, Ego 
and I actually took that out. That bike's capable of 150 mile an hour. It's got a range on of it about 120 miles, and it takes him around about four hours to charge it, because obviously he's got all the charger built into his garage. Um, and the speed on that is breathtakingly fast. It's got sort of the Kawasaki H2 acceleration because it's only got one gear, it's one electric motor, and it's just pure torque. So it might be worth something looking into in the near future. But for 50cc, I absolutely love these little Echos and Nanos. The seating position on this is very, very nice. Suspension's very, very good. Crisp yet firm. And the seat is comfortable. It's quite a hard seat, but it's very, very comfortable. If you're out on your uh, run to work, or you're just using it to go to the shops, or just as a daily run around. Now, I do like the clocks on these, obviously, that is uh, sort of orangey red at the moment because I'm doing 29 mile an hour. As soon as I back off the speed and start getting it low, as soon as you go below 27, it goes to green. So a very, very easy visual display on this to see exactly what your speed is doing. All you've got to do is glance down. If it's red, you know you're doing 30 mile an hour. And the handling on it, even on a wet, windy day like this morning, currently about half past seven, and we've been out ride testing since about half past six this morning. And the only reason I do that is because the roads are nice and clear. And I've got no one around me. Obviously, in urban traffic, at 30 mile an hour, we'd always tell you to occupy the position number one on the road. But these little things go on forever and ever and ever. And obviously, on those small tyres, it still holds the road very, very well. Obviously the Echo Plus, slightly different, the Echo Plus has those 12 inch tyres. So a little bit better road holding on the Echo Plus, but the Echo is just as good. And I never have a problem with any of these little 50ccs. Of all the uh, 50s that we've ridden, not one has had a starting issue, an engine issue. So it just shows you how good these little uh, Echoes, Nanos are. So we're heading down into town. I'm going to get a little bit of uh, urban mileage on it and just take it round the town, go round the back roads and just uh, obviously show you what it's like if you happen to use this in town. Now this has the option, it's got the rear rack on it, so you've got the option to put top box on the back of this one. We'd always say go 32 litre, which is enough to put your kit bag in for the day, or you can put your crash helmet in there. So put your, put your kit bag in the back for the day, ride to work or ride to college, take your backpack out, put your helmet in the top box and take your backpack in and then when you come out just vice versa, switch it around a bit. But as you see through the roundabouts, on new rubber it kicks over very very well, handles absolutely perfectly. So if you are in the uh, the market for a 50cc, obviously check out all the Lex Moto pages. What I would say is obviously check out the YouTube feeds, not just myself, but the other uh, moto vloggers that do ride Lex Motos. And there's a great page uh, if you happen to have a Facebook account, Lex Moto Owners UK. And obviously you get uh, your people on there that uh, knock the Chinese bikes, and you find that 90% of those on there have never had a Chinese bike in their life or they've had a little 50 or a 125 not stuck to their servicing regimes and stuck to their running uh, procedures absolutely ragged the bike to death and it's like oh my bike's playing up my bike's playing up well, it's your own fault stick to your servicing regimes guys and uh, there's a lot of people actually commenting on the post on the uh, owners club last night or the owners page oh uh, it's a myth you don't need to run any bike in you do if Lexmoto had run all their bikes in, they wouldn't have room to sell bikes because that's all they would be doing, running the engines in for you. So it's up to you, as the owner, to run your bike in. And as Lexmoto say, stick to your mileages, stick to your speeds, stick to your servicing regime. And that's why they give you the sheet of paper when you do a handover to say this is what you need to do, this is how you need to run it in. If they didn't want that, they wouldn't give you that bulletin. So 
anyone that says, oh, it's a myth, running in a Chinese bike is basically talking out of their backside. So stick to what Lexmoto tell you, stick to what your dealers tell you, and obviously each dealer is different how they run a bike in. We run 125s in at 40 mile an hour, or round about the 40. With these little 50s, obviously, because it only does 30 mile an hour, you can run these straight in, and I'm just going to go over a few of these speed pumps just to show you the suspension on this thing. So we're coming in at 20 mile an hour, speed bump, and that suspension just soaks it up. So the suspension on these is very, very good, even over sort of manhole covers or potholes. It does the job very, very effectively. A nice positive response from the steering, but just pulling out into traffic. It's up to 30 mile an hour quick enough. Does the job amply. And a little purr from that engine. Just love the way that little 50cc just purrs away below. And obviously with these bigger ones, it's going to go to the side of the speed bumps on this. And back round into town again we go. And obviously Eclipse Motorcycles based in Bletchley. So if you happen to know Bletchley, round the back roads we go up into town and just pottering along but this little Echo and the Nanos never have an issue with them and the braking on this very very effective so I'm just going to come in hard on the brakes now and those disc brakes do the job very very well push up quite quick So if you happen to be in the market for a 50cc, a 125, all the bikes have started arriving now this week. I've got a delivery of, I think, four coming on uh, Tuesday, which is the bank holiday. And then we've got another load coming Wednesday, another load Thursday, another lot Friday. So a lot of bikes coming into us. We've got 52 bikes on order. Obviously, we have depleted our stock now completely. Most of our pre-orders have been sold. But I would say if you're in for a scooter or a motorcycle in 50cc or 125, don't hang around. Go to your dealers, get your pre-orders in because the next batch of bikes is not going to be until late September, early October. So get your orders in, put your deposit down on a bike, pre-order it, which is what a lot of customers are doing. And the LXRs are selling like hotcakes as well. So we're just going to make our way back to the garage now. Currently got 5.2 miles on the clock. I'm going to get a little bit more mileage on this before we head back actually. So I want to get around about 10 miles on this. So we're just going to potter through town a bit more. And if you happen to follow my feeds, RB is going to be out and riding Sunday and Monday. Because obviously it's a bank holiday. So we're going to get a couple of runs in. Sunday, I'm going to be out on my own. I'm going to be doing a, a nice long run up to Leicester and uh, trying out some of the twisties around sort of Leicester Coventry area that the guys have told me about. They told me some great A roads up there, some lovely country roads. So we're going to be taking the Kawasaki out for a nice long run. Sunday, that is that day. And then Monday, I'm going to be running up to the Super Sausage. So obviously this video is going to be going up Friday night, or oh, seriously, so Saturday night, it's actually Saturday night, Friday, so Saturday night, it's going to be going up tonight. If you happen to be around on the Monday, on the bank holiday Monday, RB is going to be going up to Super Sausage and hopefully catch up with uh, a few of the motor vloggers, Uncle Red, New Biker, Rhythmic Biker, and see if we can get some of the others down. But until then, I want to crack the extra mileage onto this bike, Lexmoto Nano 50cc. Whatever you're doing this weekend, have a great bank holiday, guys. If you're out on the road, be well, ride safely. And from Rebom, it's going to be a big goodbye from me. Have a great bank holiday, guys. <laughs>